Page seven we're starting on today for the video of the day, and it's the problem of the day page. Write each percent as a fraction in lowest terms. Well, percent means dividing by 100, per 100 units. 62.5% would be 62.5 over 100. Well, that's a complex fraction. So the first thing you need to do is eliminate that decimal in the top, which means you're multiplying by 10. I don't show times 10 times 10. I just move the decimal over, which means times 10 and times 10. So you get 625 over 1,000. They do have 125 in common, but you may not see that. So you take a quarter out of each of those or 25s out of each of those. And then divide by 5 again and you get 5 eighths. Do that same thing with number 1, 4, and 5. Uh, number 2 has a repeating decimal percent. This is equivalent to 16 and the six-tenths repetent, which is not good form in a percent to show a repeating decimal. So we show them as their equivalent fraction form. To do this kind of percent to a fraction in simplest form, you have to make the percent into an improper fraction. And I know 3 times 16 is 48 plus 2 is 50 thirds over 100. Well, again, this is a complex fraction. That says 50 thirds divided by 100, which is equivalent to 50 thirds times, multiplicative inverse this, 1 over 100. And then, yes, I would cross cancel to get 50 goes in there once, goes in here twice, and you get the answer 1 6. 16 and 2 thirds percent is equivalent to the fraction 1 6. Do that same thing with number 3 and number 6, and we'll go over these in class. The rest of the video has to do with percents that are greater than 100 percent, which we've already seen, and percents that are less than 1 percent, which we also have already seen. And I like to use my little mnemonic, changing a fraction to a decimal to a percent. I call it FDP. And you've seen me use the D and the P part so far. To change a decimal to a percent, you multiply it by 100 or slide the decimal point 2 to the right. To change a percent back to a decimal, you do the opposite. You're dividing by 100 and you slide that decimal point to the left. We'll talk about the fraction part in a moment. So here's some examples done for you. You've already seen these four on a prior page. So I'm going to go right to that bottom part here. You can read those top six. They're showing you how to move the decimal to the right and then moving the decimal to the left. Oh, number six is actually doing FDP. Take a fraction and first convert it to its decimal equivalent by dividing. And then sliding, multiplying by 100, sliding it over two places to the right. So 1 divided by 400 is 25 ten thousandths. Then changing it to a percent, you slide 2 to the right and you get 25 hundredths of a percent. Yes, if you bought one ticket out of 400 that were sold for, uh, you know, your favorite, oh, let's say it's an iPad, and you bought one ticket to win in this raffle, you would only have a 25 hundredths of a percent chance of winning. Not very good odds. So we do have really tiny percents in the real world. Express each percent as a decimal. Well, that's going percent as a decimal. That's moving it two to the left here in the top eight. So I'm going to do the top four. Uh, moving two to the left, I would get one and 15 hundredths. Two to the left, it would give me the whole number three. Three is 300 percent. 540 percent, two to the left would be five and four tenths. And the 758% two to the left would give me seven and 58 hundredths. Oh, might as well do the next ones. 
Two tenths of a percent to left would give me zero, zero, two, or two thousandths. Two to the left on 57 hundredths percent would give me 57 ten thousandths. And 125 thousandths of a percent would give me 125 hundredths, hundred thousandths, 125 hundred thousandths. Ooh, six ten thousandths of a percent, oh, tiny amount, would give me one, two, three, four, Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five zeros, and then that six, which means that is the decimal six millionths. Express each number as a percent. So now we're doing a decimal or fraction to a percent, and we're going to go two to the right. So two to the right means I'm going to get 579 percent. Well, that's the same thing as four and five tenths, and two to the right would be 450 percent. Two and four tenths, two to the right would be 240 percent. 95, wow, the decimal's on the end there. One, two, that would be 9,500 percent. Now we have the very small ones. Uh, two to the right, that would give me one-tenth of a percent. Ooh, six divided by 1,200. This is where we're going to have to do the full FDP. Divide and slide it over to. So divide my six by 1,200, and you get five thousandths. That's the decimal, so I divided first. Now I'm going to slide it over 2 to the right to get it as a percent. So don't forget that last part. That's 5 tenths of a percent. Again, if you bought 6 tickets out of 1,200, you don't have a very good chance of winning that item. 5 tenths of a percent. Very small number. 5 thousandths. Wow, 16 ten thousandths. Even smaller. That would be 16 hundredths of a percent. And the last one here, number 16, 4 divided by 16, that's a quarter, so that's 25 ten thousandths. That's only changing the fraction to the decimal and then sliding. So I always make my little da -dum -da -dum, as I call them, sliding 2 to the right. I always show that so I know I've done it. And I don't make the mistake of just doing the 4 divided by 1,600 and I see a decimal. Oh, I think I'm done. Not. So you get 25 hundredths of a percent for that one. And that's it for today.